Hello, welcome. I'm Kenny talking about indirect methods of contouring. In this method, the points located and surveyed are not necessarily on the contour lines, but the spot levels are taken along the series of lines laid out over the area. The spot levels of several representative points representing hills, depletion, ridge, and the varied lines, and the changes in the slope all over the area to be contoured are also observed. Their positions are then plotted on the plan, and the contour is drawn by interpolation. This method is also known as contouring by spot levels. This method is commonly employed in all kinds of survey, as this is cheaper, quicker, and less tedious as compared with the direct method. There are mainly three methods of contouring, square, cross-section, and tachyometric method. The square method. In this method, the whole area is divided into a number of squares, the sides of which may vary from 5 to 30 meters, depending upon the nature and the extent of the ground and the contour interval. The squares need not be of the same size throughout. The corners are pegged out and numbered as 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. A temporary benchmark is set up near the site and the level set up at a suitable position. The staff readings on the corners of the squares are taken and noted in the level book maintaining the sequence of the serial numbers of corners. The reduced levels of these points are then determined with a level. The skeletons of the squares are plotted to a suitable scale. The respective reduced levels are noted on the corners after which the contour lines are drawn by interpolation as shown. This is our skeleton on which reduced levels are noted and the contour lines are drawn. I have prepared examples for you illustration and practice. In our example, we have a rectangular plot ABCD with AB equivalent to 30 meters and BC equivalent to 20 meters. A being to the west of B, points PQR and S are midpoints along A, B, B, C, C, D, and D, A, respectively, with point T as the intersection of line S, Q, and P, R. The reduced levels are determined as seen below. We are required to plot the points at a scale of 1 to 200 and interpolate the positions of 12.5 meter, 13 meter, and 13.5 meter contours. Using the 12.5 meter contour, I'm going to explain how you can draw a contour plan. You can see that along AS, A has a reduced level of 12.16 meters and S has a reduced level of 12.56 meters, which is greater than the elevation of our contour. Also, along AP, you can see that the elevation of P is also greater than that of our contour. So we are required to find the distance of the contour from corner A along AS and also from corner A along AP. 
to get the distance of AB on our contour plan, you simply multiply the actual distance of FB with the scale given. In our case, it, it was 1 to 200. To acquire the actual distance of the contour from any corner, for example, along PS, we are required to find the vertical distance between A and S by simply subtracting the reduced levels and also the horizontal distance between A and S which is 10 meters and also the vertical distance between any corner and the elevation of the contour then the distance of the 12.16 meter contour from corner A can be obtained as shown. The obtained distance is then used to acquire the distance on the plan by simply changing it to centimeters and multiplying by the scale as shown. We follow the same steps when we are finding the distance of the 12.16 meter contour from corner A along AP, as shown. We can obtain the rest of the distances for other contours using the formula shown and the table of results is drawn. After acquiring the distances of the contours from the corners the contour lines are drawn as curve lines. Please try out example 2. It is very interesting. We are given the staff readings and we are required to first find the reduced levels before you can proceed with the drawing of the plan. Please subscribe, like and comment. Thanks for watching.